Malaysia is the second largest palm oil producer, has a lot of business, green produce which is empty fruit branch left after extraction of palm oil. Therefore, to reduce the waste, several recycling technologies is being developed in Malaysia for the fuel, fiber and fertilizer uses. The seven technologies are ethanol production, maintain recovery, liquid production, biofuel for the combustion heat and power plant, composting, medium density fiberboard production and pump and paper production. But among all these seven technologies, ethanol production is the most developed uh, technology that we are focusing on. So now we are going to start with our world reporter, Miss Shahira. So I am with the project manager, Miss Shahzwani. In your opinion, why should ethanol production technology be developed in our country? As we know, the conventional ethanol that we produce now are from petroleum based, which is a non renewable source. Hence, by using empty fruit branches, which is one of the uh, renewable sources, we can produce ethanol that are more environmental friendly. Second, usage of uh, bioethanol in transportation sector does not contribute to any significant to the uh, uh, depletion of ozone layer. Third, ethanol production consumes less energy among all the technologies. This is because ethanol production uses lesser process and requires small amount of electricity and heat. Thank you. Advantage, there is a corresponding disadvantage. Now we have the environmental occupational safety and health officer, Miss Natasha, with me right now. So, Miss Natasha, can you explain to us what is the step in the environmental impact assessment of this technology? First and foremost, in order to build this plan, we have to is in this project. We estimated it to be the 750 hectares. 750 hectares is such a huge land area consumed. Therefore, there will be some negative impact to the environment before, during and after the project. So, Miss Natasha, how can this project pollute our environment? Before this project is being carried out, we need to, uh, to clear a huge land area. This will cause destruction of natural habitat of flora and fauna. During the construction phase, level of noise pollution will increase due to the vibration of machinery and vehicle movement. Solid and liquid waste will increase from the workers' camp. Traffic congestion also will occur and the potential accident might increase due to transportation of construction materials. While operating the plant, sewage and solid waste will increase which can be pollute the environment. The ethanol production creates air pollutants such as sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide that violate the clean air act that could cause global warming and acid rain. Large amount of water is being consumed in the pre-treatment process where, where we convert the complex form of empty fruit branches into simple sugar.